Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's talk about pressure and compare total pressure to gauge pressure to atmospheric pressure. So there's four pressures. When you hear the word pressure, you're not quite sure if they mean gauge pressure or total pressure or atmospheric pressure. So we need to make that clear. And sometimes I ask the question, let's say you have a flat tire, what is the pressure inside the tire? And almost everyone will say, well, the pressure must be zero because you have a flat tire. But that's not true because inside the tire, you still have atmospheric pressure. When the pressure inside the tire and outside the tire is exactly the same, then you'll have a flat tire. So when we say the pressure, well, what do we mean by pressure? In this case, the pressure inside the tire will be atmospheric pressure and the gauge pressure will be zero. So what is gauge pressure? Well, let's say you don't have a flat tire and you measure the pressure of the air inside the tire. Well, on one side of the tire, you have the pressure inside the tire pushing against the gauge, but on the other side of the gauge, you have the atmospheric pressure pushing back. So the gauge pressure will measure the total pressure minus the atmospheric pressure. It will measure the difference between the two. So the gauge pressure then becomes the total pressure minus the atmospheric pressure. For example, let's say that we measure the the pressure in the tire and we get 36 pounds per square inch. We know that the atmospheric pressure, uh, let's say, I'm not quite correct there, it's actually 14.7 pounds per square inch. Well, then we have to add them together and let me change this as well. So this would be 14.7 and this would then of course be 50.7. But you can see that simply to get the total pressure you simply have to add the gauge pressure and the atmospheric pressure together. So it depends what pressure it is that you want. Now in some calculations, you'll need to use the total pressure. In some calculations, you'll need to use the gauge pressure. So it depends what the situation is, as long as you understand the difference between the two. So another way to look at it is that the gauge pressure is a pressure measured, measured by a pressure gauge. And that is it. Once you have that straight, you can deal with any kind of problem coming up dealing with pressure. And that is how it's done.